Welcome back to Finding Dead Things on Our Floor Simulator 2021. Woohoo! <laughs> Hopefully I, I, that chicken was... <laughs> I had to deal with that yesterday, actually. No. The, ki the kitten caught play. his first mouse. <laughs> Well, hopefully that's hopefully that's dinner. Maybe Gabriel might need it. Talk to the coffee. Even Gabriel isn't that addicted. Sorry, I wanted to get that one out of the way. <laughs> <laughs> that ends. Which one was it? Was it this one? The gargoyle is. No, that's not it. Um. Open the gargoyle? Did I talk to it? Life is too short to talk to ugly statues. <laughs> You'd never know by the woman you date. <laughs> womp womp. Okay, anyway. Um, so, last time you remember, somebody shoved a chicken through our mail slot and was on the floor. Yeah, it wasn't doing too well, but... No. And then we also... This is the last... Oh, thank you, I know. Uh, we also got a letter from Mosley and his office key. Because this, this runs is the all the way to the top. It's a conspiracy, man. Everybody's in on it. And if you don't think it's a conspiracy, well, you're in on it, too. Oh, crap. It's such a <laughs> conspiracy that I didn't even know I was doing it. <laughs> uh, so, anyway, we've got some things to do. Now, Things none of it is terribly. Yeah, none of it is terribly obvious. Gabriel can. No, god damn it. Door. <laughs> <laughs> Not take the door, open the door. Hey, you never know when you're going to need gonna a door. Are you going to be okay here by yourself? I'll, I'll I'll be just just fine. Just fix this, okay? I'm trying, Gracie. How do you fix a chicken? <laughs> All right. Well, as I said, a lot of this is not going to be obvious right away, so let's go the route that you would suspect. Since you got something from Mosley, you would imagine to head to the police station right away. That seems so we'll to make sense to me. That seems a logical idea. There's just one problem. You got no business back there now. Move along. Damn it. <laughs> Sorry. Nobody's happy about this. So we need to talk to our doughy friend over here to figure out what's going on. Got a second, officer? What can I do you for? I'm here to see Detective Mosley. Um, <clears throat> we, we don't have a uh, Detective Mosley here. What? I've seen him all week. Listen to what I'm saying. We don't have a Detective Mosley on the force. I see. Well, yeah. So this creates a problem, because we need to get back there. Now, if you recall from previous days, we have a way of causing a distraction. Hmm. So we need to go... No, not the cathedral. The distraction's not in the cathedral, damn it. No, just just leave. Just go. Out. Get get out. Be gone. You might catch on fire if you hang around here too long. We need to go to Jackson Square, because we have a purveyor of doughy treats to wheel over there. For our doughy friend there. That was a really stretched uh, metaphor, but you know what? Who cares? <laughs> hey, you had to fill Excuse some time. Me? Yeah? Uh huh. Say, haven't I seen you before? I get around the French Quarter. Used to be at Royal and Conti. Now, if you know, like, if you pay attention to the map, on the the, uh, the traveling screen, you actually see street names, and Royal and Conti is the police station. You say you used to be at Royal and Conti? That's right. Is that, uh, Mark Hamill again? 
Uh, well, the guy who used to be him, whoops, sorry, the lucky it. dog guy. I don't think so. Uh, he was my cousin Ralph. He went off Ralph. to college, see, and this spot came hey, open. I won't, I won't stand I for this. I Jackson slander. Square'd be a better gig, <laughs> you know? Tourists and all. Is it? Well, uh, no, actually. Why don't you go back there? Why don't you go back there? Do you think? I, I, I've been kind of torn. Must be the weather. These thick clouds we've had all week. I'm just not seeing the crowds here that I expected. You, go back and... I definitely tease think you should go back to Royal officers. and Conti. Really? I'm glad you think so. I always liked that beat. But I thought I ought to give this a shot. Oh, absolutely. The grass is always greener. Exactly. You're right. I'm going back over there today. Yes. Hooray. Distract the police with food. It's their one weakness. Exactly. So we have one other thing we can do in here that may not be immediately obvious. Now we have our book on Rada Drums, which has some code inside. So we can actually figure out what it is that the drummers are communicating. Gabriel listens carefully to the drums and opens his Rada book to translate. So now we gotta pay attention to what's going on here. So, you know, these symbols will just keep going, basically. Hmm. So we've got a whole bunch of symbols here. Whole bunch of symbols here. And we gotta pick out what we have here. So, if we're looking... Somebody's calling a know, conclave. So yes, we have this. Call conclave right there. And we have today. Actually, sorry, tonight. And we have Swamp right there. Hmm. If Gabriel's translation of the drum code is correct, there'll be a conclave tonight in the swamp. That must be the bayou. The bayou? The bayou! You! <laughs> you! So now we know what's going on with our voodoo friends. And we also have a distraction for our police friends. Of course, who am I kidding? None of these people are our friends. They all everybody wants every, Everybody wants is dead, essentially. And can you blame them? So we are a bit of an inconvenience. Our, Yes, our beignet-toting friend is back. Hey, it's a beignet guy. He's back. I thought he was dead. <laughs> Where? All right, Tubbo, you're next. Get your own damn beignets. <laughs> Grab me three or four, would ya? Forget it, I'm broke. Rats. You stay put. I'll be back in a minute. Yeah, sure, oh, I'll why just... not? I'll, I'll, I'll just stay here then. I'm gonna go into Detective fat, Doesn't Exist fat office. Chance. <laughs> fat chance, alright. Quickly. Gabriel. Gabriel. Oh my god, I gotta walk over there first, don't I? No, no, where are you going? Through the gate. Through the gate. No. Open. Oh, <laughs> God damn it! <laughs> he gets a door, my worst enemy. <laughs> I'll just let myself in here. Yep. Now to steal everything. Well, now we're gonna 
Gabriel doesn't see any look around. Gabriel could take that, but it does not look very happy. I want to take Gabriel, everything. Gabriel. Let me Gabriel everything. Take, Gabriel would. <laughs> take the microwave. No, really. No, thanks. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> Gabriel could take. No, okay, so. Let's open his desk. <laughs> oh, I don't remember that, but sure. There's a tracking device in the drawer. This tracker might come in handy. It indeed will, as a matter of fact. <laughs> <laughs> he Clearly that was... I just used to lubricate that drawer, like something from <laughs> Looney Tunes. A fine it's Acme clearly, product. <laughs> clearly that was an afterthought. Like, we need a we need a sound for this. Hey, you, over there, get next to that microphone. Can you go... Really quick. Perfect. Great. We'll, we'll use it. The first take was a slide whistle, but they decided that was too, you know, out of place. <laughs> there is nothing to all. Not me. I've seen how Mosley organizes stuff. Okay, I'm trying to remember if there's anything else can, I need. Can in... you use the computer? Probably not. There is nothing to operate there. Wow, it's a dummy computer. That doesn't this guy's work dedicated. that way. Gabriel would prefer. All right, well, let's take a look. Mosley's desk has more groin on it than on his head. Mosley. No. Logs of un. No. Mosley's off. No. Mosley's off. A microwave. If Gabriel knows Mosley, it is used exclusively for frozen corn dogs. I think we've I think we already touched on that subject before. Uh, yes, we have. I'm just I'm trying to remember if there was anything else here, and I don't know. Gabriel could take that. Um. No, I need to look. Logs of unsolved cases. No. Lo no. Mosley's It's not looking like it, so I'm assuming I got what I needed. Mosley's We definitely need that. And we shall see why, because we know there's a conclave. We know it's at the swamp. And the but second conclave. <laughs> Mosley's phone. Mosley's If we go try to get there. Mosley's there's a... Gabriel doesn't want to use the phone here. If we try to get there, we're not really going to be very successful. So we need a way of figuring out how to get there. Hey, get out of there, you. Sorry, just looking for a restroom. <laughs> That's locked. And I found it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, let's run with what we got, and if I missed something, obviously, we'll go back. Alright. Well, there are two pieces that we need to kind of go through. The first is up here, St. Louis Cemetery. And that's with our message here. Now, we should. Gabriel can't no, take... No, 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 not what I wanted. No. No. That. Because we're gonna... F with the message. Gabriel likes the idea of leaving marks on the tomb. But at the moment, he's not sure what to say. Or how to say it. Okay. Well, just scratch a bunch of lines and tell them to eat butts. That's what I do. Alright, well, we'll exit for now, because... Clearly, I think I have my steps in the wrong order. Don't mind me, just marking up a tombstone. Well, clearly people do it all the time. <laughs> just, just go. Get, get out. Get, <laughs> get out. What the, seriously, it says exit, just do it. Thank you.
Hello, Dr. John. Glad you could return to us, Mr. Knight. Let's have a chat. Translate this drum beat and it's just saying, eat it, Joe's over Do and over Do you know again. of anything <laughs> interesting going on this evening? You mean for St. John's Eve? Mr. Knight, I know of nothing that you would find amusing. Hmm. Do you know of... You mean for... Well, same thing. Could I ask you some more questions? Of course. I also find our dialogue stimulating. I think he's coming on to you. Nah. So there are a couple things we could go back over. So we uh, could completely blow our cover. <laughs> Sounds fun to me. Do you know anything about a secret voodoo hound fool? Don't be ridiculous, Mr. Knight. The voodoo churches in the city have no need for secrecy. Oh, but it's fun. Have you ever heard of Dambala? Of course. It is one of the lore. Secret voodoo club. Club is Do you not know anything nubs. about Vevez? <laughs> I believe they have something to do with Haitian voodoo, but that is not really my area. How about... Are you sure you don't know anything about Ogun Badagri? I am afraid I have little Roll else that to say a little harder about there. that subject. Do you know anything about Radha drums? There are some against the wall, but I do not play myself. You don't know anything about a drum code? I do not believe there is such a thing, Mr. Knight. First rule of drum club, don't talk about drum club. <laughs> Alright, well clearly we're not getting anything new out of him. But... Oh, wrong kind of code. I, yes, wrong kind of code. Um, I think... We have our tracking device. This device is called a tracker. Gabriel remembers a time when he and Mosley used it <laughs> illegally with a couple of babes in a white convertible. Oh my. It operates as follows. The signal device attaches to an object, such as a car. The signal device emits a signal that appears on the tracker, L-E-D allowing the object to be tracked. Doesn't look like an LED. It's a signal device for the tracker. Just shut up and run with it. <laughs> okay, well, we remember, maybe. Uh, do we still actually have that somewhere? I think we do, because I think we wrote it down in the journal. Images, the Im I don't know, I can't change the page, unless I have it somewhere else. No, that's the phone book. That's the number. Is it this? The newspaper. That's a it newspaper includes. Uh, this? Wolfgang. No, that's Wolfgang's God. letter. The letters. That's another letter. Mm -hmm. Our stuff we've already gone over, so that's why I'm skipping it. That's the partial pattern. That's Mosley's letter. That's the whole thing. And that's the doodles. Okay, it must not show up in the inventory, which is, I think, a little weird, but whatever. Uh, we have that partial translation that we got from uh, Miss Moonbeam, which that text on the wall had not changed. Hmm. But, we need to track these guys. And there's a way to do it, and there was a hint in, actually, the pre uh, previous day, either that, from Gabriel's dream in, uh, during the lecture. What is this, like, so what is this Twin Peaks? <laughs> Oh, I know. It's there's a convolute, very convoluted clues, uh, but we need to drop this in our tiny little coffin over here. Gabriel slips the signal device into the Seke module. Can I assist you, Mr. Knight? Hmm. No, just looking. I I'm now obsessed. Now, if only they take the coffin to the sound. ritual. <laughs> I don't, I, I'm just trying to figure out how this thing is so loud. I hate to rush you, Mr. Knight, but I am afraid I must close the museum early this evening. This is St. John's Eve, and it's getting on towards dusk. I have things I must do. We didn't have work in the studio, no so we problem. needed somebody who sounded like him. leave. Goodbye, Mr. Knight. 
May the spirits guard you well tonight. All right, well, now I actually have it, I think, in the correct order. So we need to make sure that they take the coffin. So we need to mess with our mess with the message here. So now I think I can use the brick. Gabriel likes the idea of leaving Mark. Um. The tomb wall doesn't respond. <laughs> Spill your secrets, you jerk. The second message made from the voodoo crosses is on the wall. Do I need to copy it first? I'm pretty sure I copied it already. Oh, maybe that's. Let what me I get to these do. new marks down. You got the old marks, not the new ones. Ah. Maybe I need to get it translated again. Let's try it. Sign on the front door of Magentia's home. I'm assuming that's a no. Attending a channeling seminar until August 1st. Alright, well let's just go back and let's let's see if we can do it now, now that I've done that. Um inventory. Did I get anything new for doing that? I did not. Brick. Gabriel likes the idea of leaving marks on the tomb. But at the moment, he's not sure what to say or how to say it. Hmm. Don't you have to go, go back to what's her name? Go back to what's her name who? The Grace? Fortune teller? Get a No, I already did that. Yeah, that's what I tried to do. It said that... Weren't you just paying attention? I just did that. Ah. <laughs> it wouldn't let me. She's at a channeling seminar until August 1st. Boo! So, that is not... Not the right step. No, I'm just... Ah, crap. <laughs> what am I supposed to do? I can't remember. I gotta think. Thinking sucks. Try looking at oh, your previous notes. I don't... I can't look at this. Gabriel looks... Yeah, it just... And opening it just gives me the... That. Images... The Im That was the phone book. That's Wolfgang's number. That's the... Uh, the, the story. That's Wolfgang's letter. That's something from the clock. Uh, the rotted drums. Maybe go now. to... Go to Grace? Snake drawing. No, just uh, switch. I mean, there are other things that I need to prepare in order to get into said conclave, like copying. Phew, what's his face out uh, there? Snake Made tattoo. It back, though. Since oh he was saying, boy! Party time. Saying that you don't get in without uh without it. Mm. Actually, you know what? Did they even look at the newspaper today? Today's newspaper. Times picker. No, I didn't. Whoops. Dated the twenty third of June, nineteen twenty and ninety three. Gabriel finds an article about Saint Jean's Eve. It discusses the day's Catholic roots and its adoption by voodoo devotees. In the early to mid-1800s, St. Jean's Eve was celebrated with elaborate voodoo gatherings at Lake Pontchartrain, Bayou St. Jean, and other sites outside the city. These days, the day is commemorated commercially in some of the local shops, and a few churches still hold a St. Jean's Eve Mass. Despite his better judgment, Gabriel reads his horoscope. Today you will either die or your life will That's... change forever. Sure, why not? It is St. John's Eve. They'll be out tonight for sure. But where? 
No, I already know. Uh, maybe that maybe that was what I needed. Because hmm. I didn't read the uh, I didn't read the newspaper. What do you Just have in your jumping? So your that new tra the new notes didn't actually go into your inventory. No. Yeah, they did. did. Not. Oh, is that it? I thought that was the partial. It's Gabriel sketch oh. of the. Aha. Uh -huh. Looking at the series of crosses, Gabriel can't help but to think that they have a pattern and a meaning he is not comprehending. That's the partial, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, wait, no. Aha! Uh, doop and doop. Gabriel checks the two messages for duplicate symbols and transfers the letters from the matches to the new message. He finds that he has the translation for all of the symbols, except for three. Those two are... No, just... just... there. Eh. No, read it. Read it. Okay. Well, what is obvious? Yeah, it looks like the message is DJ, keep eyes on GK, but do not harm? That would be probably what it is. So it looks like that's what we got here. And the only DJ I know of is Dr. John. But... Yep. He already closed up shop, so we can't pester him about it. Nope. But I think that is going to give us enough of what we need. But we also need Grace to uh, help us out a little bit. Grace, can you, you investigate this brick for me? <laughs> Get a nice close look at it. No. Why I... use the tattoo tracing on that? Oh, do I need to talk to her? Yeah, just give it to her. Oh, was I not, not targeting? Will you do me a yeah. favor? What? Use your paints to copy this snake tattoo onto my chest. Now why on earth would you want me to do that? I want to be one of the cool kids. <laughs> I'm going to a party. I'm going to a party tonight. Costume, you know. You don't say. I guess you're going with Malia. Uh, yeah. That's right. And why should I help you out when I don't even like Malia? Well, if you're jealous about my feelings for her... You know that's not it. I just think, as your friend, that she's trouble. Spelled T-R-U-Bubble. It's probably bubble. understandable. <laughs> I know you have certain the capital feelings T that for me. The capital T that stands for pool? Quite naturally. Yes. Me? Sure. <laughs> I would rather be hung by my hair over a bed of scorpions. I know it must be hard having it in your face like this. No chance to avoid hearing about it, seeing it day by day. Fine. I'll do it. Just shut up. <laughs> Can we at least go in the back? Sure, but... Could you say that one more time and <laughs> pout your lips more? Ugh. <laughs> no. <laughs> the answer is no. What did I say? All right, let's go. The shirt, please. You don't know how long I've been waiting for this moment. <laughs> Good lord. Now. <laughs> Hold still. Maybe you'd like to tie me up? One more remark, and I'm leaving. Okay, okay. <laughs> Done. It's just stunning. Sorry I couldn't make it last long. I said consummate well, V's. Consummate. from you. A beefy arm is a nice touch. Thank you. <laughs> All right, so we got our our snake tattoo, and we have our translations now that I'm no longer an idiot and not thinking about that. So we should be able to go and make sure that our friend brings the correct. I'm going thing. out. Uh huh. Okay, 
Look at the wall. Now. Do the thing I want you to do. I think I'll leave a there message of my own. Man, that's an effective eraser right there. Okay, so... We're gonna leave those symbols in place. And we need you to bring... The Seke Majule. So we need the B. We need the R. I don't have an I, do I? Can I use the other one? Uh, oh, next next message. There we go. I. There's a whole word of bring right there. N. G. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> shut, shut up in your face. <laughs> S-E. K. E. I mean, that's Y. C-K. That's ma Madule, M A D O U L E, I believe. So I need an M. Oh, the M is the oh, at the very yeah. end. Mm -hmm. Yep. Ma A D O U. Uh, I need an L. 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 There's an E on the bottom left. I right. Just oh, put in the it. E. Yeah, that should be right. And do you want to add a tonight on the end of that? Pleased with his message. Gabriel tosses the breakdown. Now, if only DJ reads it in time. I think we're good. I mean, it gave me points, so I'm assuming I did it right. Well, it sounds like it. Yeah. He's pleased with himself, so I guess we're good. So let's go. I mean, you threw away the brick, so I assume that means you got it right. <laughs> No, no. <laughs> that guy gets to leave. Why can't we? <laughs> no, we're just going to do a little dance. I'm dancing. I'm dancing. <laughs> All right. Come on. Leave the screen. Thank you. Get the board. All right. To the bayou. Hooray. Ooh, there's a healthy glow off to the right of the screen. Yep, so basically, if we came here and screwed something up, um, actually, before I do that, just to make sure I did not screw something up. Gabriel pulls out the tracking device, hoping that the Sheki Madule made it to the ritual, and that this thing will work. All right. There's a blip. Blip. They must be here with the Seke Madule. Blip. Blip. All right, so we we did that right. So now we gotta go after it. Gabriel can barely focus on the LED with those drums in his head. He hopes he's reading it correctly. Didn't he just come from that direction, or did he? Insert disc four of seventeen to continue. Gabriel hopes this tracking thing is working correct. Yeah, welcome to, uh, wandering aimlessly. Didn't he just come from that direction? Or did he? Because this is like, just like, why would you do this? And then you remember, oh, it's a Sierra game. That's why we did this. <laughs> uh, I'm getting closer. Yeah, I don't understand why 
Gabriel feels so turned around. Is this thing what? Yes, it's fine. We're getting closer. Here we are. Oh boy. Clearly, this is where we need to go, but we have some preparation to do first. Oh dear. Well, the first thing we need to do is put on Willie Jr. When in Rome. Here goes oh, nothing. Uh-oh. I Are didn't put on the armband, so we're going back. <laughs> Welcome, Brother Crocodile. Please join the other celebrants. Yes, Dr. John. Uh, mm, Brother Eagle. But first, name the great serpent who crushes all in his coils. <laughs> Papageni. <laughs> no, that would be... Dambala. You are <laughs> correct, what is... Brother I'm not Crocodile. sure what that was. Who is the destroyer of men? Buddha, perhaps. That would Ogun. be... Ogun. Ogun Badagri. You are correct, Brother Crocodile. Enjoy yourself well tonight. <laughs> Uh, and I'm the only one who didn't. I'm only. I'm the only one here wearing pants. I'm totally Oops. overdressed. Yeah, really. Okay, maybe I didn't need to put on the bracelet. That's. I thought I maybe did it out of order. Oh no, because the bracelet. I thought you have the snake symbol. I thought, ah! I, I thought it was both, but I guess not. What? I am so high right now. <laughs> it's the wheel within a wheel. I'll just blow my cover, thanks. Oh no! It's all the dreams at once. Ah. Gabriel! Malia. I know you now. I can smell his blood in your face. Uh-oh. Yeah, no. Right, bro. You cannot oh, here we go. your destiny. Or ours. No. I will fight. I will Forgot your destroy. accent. No! <laughs> Where is your necklace now, witch hunter? Where are your pretty, pretty chairs? Some party, huh? And now the worst hangover of your life. <laughs> Ooh, the seven's dripping. Yep, alright, you're up, Ralph. My last ally laid the waste. I ran towards the light. I prayed for one to change my path, to give me strength to fight. You should have thought of that before you tried sneaking into the damn conclave. <laughs> Wait, come on. Perhaps. You know, that would have been the smart thing, but... Uh, whoever said adventure protagonists were smart. Yeah, I was gonna say, we're not really in the doing the smart thing business. No, it's, again, it's an adventure game. You're never into doing the smart thing. Gabriel! Gabriel, wake up! I'm still hungover. <laughs> Ow, I'm, my I'm head! I'm so high right now. <laughs> it's about time. I've been trying to wake you for hours. There's no time to lose. I had another dream. It wasn't a dream, believe me. Now come on, get dressed. Here's your sock. Wait a minute. <laughs> I'm starting to remember. Something about Malia. She's the head priestess of the voodoo cartel. They're responsible for the murders. They've been doing it for years. Malia? Last night she was the leopard. Like in my dreams, Grace. I know. Those dreams were a warning. Now come on, get dressed. A warning from who? But last night, Malia changed. She became someone, something else. And then I blacked out, I think. I'm just so high. How'd I get home? 
I followed you last night. Took an Uber. I had my doubts about the Gettys. <laughs> Did you know that they arrived in New Orleans in 1800? Took an Uber 20 Just years in time too early. for the voodoo influx. I knew you were going to try to sneak into a ceremony last night, so I followed you. Lucky for you that I did. If you'd been left at the circle last night, I don't know what she would have done to you. You're wrong. Probably got it. Mario you wouldn't knife. hurt me. Yeah. What about Tetalo? Tetalo. They were chanting that last night. That's the name from Gunter's journal. The woman who took the talisman. Yes. Gabriel, it's your destiny you're facing. You can't just blunder your way through this or you'll end up dead. How do you know all Tetalo this? Tetalo will be after you now. I've blundered my you way through it so far just fine. You have to call your great-uncle Germany. Thank you. Uncle Wolfgang? Yes. He knows more about this than we do. Okay. I'll call him. But Malia isn't responsible for those things, Grice. It's that spirit, that Loa. It's Tetalo. Yeah. Possession is convenient that way. <laughs> call Wolfgang, Gabriel. I'll be in the shop. Well, it's pretty obvious what we need to do. Those two are... No, just look at it, because I forget what the number is. Wolfgang Ritter's phone number. Written in gray. I'll write it down. The number written on four, the nine, note zero, nine, is... Four, three, three, three. Four, nine... Zero nine. Yeah, I got it. Okay. You already heard her read it off. Lots of trees. <laughs> Get the phone and call Germany again. Alright, turn it on. I made that mistake plenty of times. Four nine zero nine three two four. Guten Tag, Sie haben Schloss Ritter erreicht? This is Gabriel Knight. Can I speak to Wolfgang, please? Ja, Herr Knight. Ein Moment, bitte. Gabriel, it's so good to wow, hear your voice. A really quick moment. I had such I know, a just hand that off real fast. There's a good reason for that, Uncle Wolfgang. We need to talk. Gabriel fills in Wolfgang on the events of the previous evening. Ugh, it is even worse than I thought. <laughs> you bet it is. <laughs> We have to talk about what I'm supposed to do. Oh, nice. He's in a... He's in silhouette completely. Yeah, it's a witness protection program. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't have that right voice, though. <laughs> Tell me about Tetelo. Well, from your Just description of the here. ritual last night, I'd say that Gunther's mistress, Tetelo, is now the primary law for the Gede tribe. It seems she still controls them by possessing her female descendants and speaking through them. Do you remember in Gunther's journal he said that Tetelo was possessed by her father's lower during the killings in Charleston? This sounds similar, but Tetelo has obviously become a much more powerful lower than her father ever was. Probably because of the added power of the talisman. Hmm. Talisman. Let's talk about the talisman. <sighs> I myself have only seen it in old sketches and paintings. And in my dreams. It was in the family so for dream. centuries before Tetelo took it. It is believed to be as old as the role of Chatanieda itself. The talisman has genuine power. I don't know how or why, but it is so. The Chatanieda swore to use the power for good, never for evil. For defense not offense. Since it fell into Tetler's hands, I'm afraid to think what the power has been used for, or what it will be used for in the future. With the talisman, Tetler has all the power and we none. The only possible way to fight her is to regain the talisman. Then we will at least be on more equal footing. Tell me more about Tetelo. I believe she truly loved Gunther. After all, she was raised to be her father's daughter. Their religion was not a choice she made, but a duty she endured. How can she be blamed for that? Um. The spirit she has become, <laughs> that is a different matter. It is utterly evil. I am certain that the lower Tetler bears little resemblance to the woman Tetler was before the burning in Charleston. 
Yeah, lighting people on fire will do that to them. Tell me more they might make about them mad Tetelo. at you. She once was a beautiful and intelligent woman, and she probably did not deserve Gunther's betrayal. But the Tetelo we fight now is more akin to her tribe's dark gods than to anything human in nature. Tell me more say. about Tetelo. She once was a... Nope. How can we regain the talisman? We've been searching for the talisman for years, ever since we lost it. That's more than years. It's a terrible thing to know that something powerful that was entrusted to us is in the wrong hands. Yeah, you screwed it the up, The talisman now. is probably buried with Tetelo's remains. That's what gives her lore so much power. So, clearly we're going grave robbing. It sounds fun to me. <laughs> How would we find Tetelo's remains? Ha! We have pondered that question a long time, the Ritas. There are two probabilities. The first is that her remains are with the tribe at their current location. The other is that the remains were returned to a sacred place near the tribe's original homeland. We've tried to locate Tetelo's African homeland, but Gunter says so little in his journal about her tribe, and slaving records are practically non-existent. Also, Tetelo's tribe was utterly destroyed in its African form in the late 17th century. There was nothing like a census in Africa then. Wait, how did you know as that? As for the other idea, <sighs> we had no clue as to where <laughs> Tetelo's people went after fleeing Charleston until now. Let's discuss the possible African homeland. All right. Have you learned anything that might help us locate it? I have some it? notes. I spoke with the Professor Hartridge. Unfortunately for him, he thinks the tribe's name was Agri and that they lived near the Fon tribe in what is now called the People's Republic of Benin. That is incredible, Gabriel. I must go research this new information in my library right now. Wait, what should I do? Yeah, go Tell get lost. You, if you get a chance, you might look into the possibility that Tetelo's remains are somewhere in New Orleans. But don't try to broach their private areas without my assistance, Gabriel. Not touching that one. You will make a fine Schattenjäger, but only if you are not dead. That seems reasonable. Sure, I'll wait. Bye then, Gabriel. And remember, if you need a place of safety, come to Schloss Ritter. Well, clearly we're going to need that soon. Goodbye, Uncle Wolfgang. Because, uh, things are getting a little nutso over here. So we're going to need that in the near future. Well, there's only one thing to do out here, and that's read the newspaper, as always. Hooray! It's a poison newspaper. <laughs> You've died. Newspaper you start, reload, or quit. <laughs> Dated June no, 24, it's not one of those, sir. 1993. There's nothing about the voodoo murders case in the papers today. Gabriel finds a humorous tidbit under the Life is Stranger Than Fiction column. Apparently, there were reports of ghosts in the Bayou Saint-Jean last night. Various people called the newspaper with stories about hearing strange noises and seeing weird lights over the swamp. Some folks claim it's the ghost of Marie Laveau. The paper relates it to similar delusions that crop up every Halloween. Hmm. Gabriel's horoscope today reads... You will die a terrible, terrible death. ...who knows when to fight and when to get the hell out of dark. God help me, I'm actually starting to listen to this guy. <laughs> <laughs> That's good advice. Yeah. Let's have some coffee while we're here. Mmm, good coffee. This is Twin Peaks. <laughs> Alright, well, uh, we have a direction to try to track down Tetelo's remains in New Orleans, and really we only have one place to look for that. I'm going out for a bit. Be careful. That's up here.
and quickly before he decides to walk off and we have to wait for him to get off screen. Do 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 come on. Exit. I said exit. Let's get over there. Jeez. Off screen. Thank you. Hey, there's a button. I want to push the button. Push the button. Beep. There, there, there's a faint sound of breaking. <laughs> I don't think that's seems... what that button's supposed to do. Yeah, it seems bad. <laughs> Damn. You'd think there'd be a light. This is the last page of invent. <laughs> oh damn! You know what? <laughs> I actually don't have one. Gabriel doesn't see anything. No, I... no push, push button. Thank you. Guess you need a flashlight. <laughs> I do. And exit. I didn't. And this is this is like what you pick up at the very beginning too. <laughs> yeah. So you get this like right at the beginning. And now you have to and I totally, go through the hardest totally... part of the game again. No, I know exactly where it is. No, I mean leaving the screen. Oh. <laughs> yeah. I, well, yeah. I guess that is, that is a fairly difficult part of the game. <laughs> You want to leave that screen? You can't leave that screen. <laughs> Hello, beautiful. It's me. Really? I forgot you were gone. <sighs> so yeah, I forgot the flashlight, which is back here. And you can pick it up right at the beginning of the game, essentially. Now it is right... there. Yoink. I might need a flashlight. Well, you do now. You wouldn't when you actually, like, have a chance to pick it up. Could, could come in handy at some point, maybe. Yeah, you never know when you need a flashlight. Apparently, it's right now. Because <laughs> I'm an idiot and totally forgot to pick it up. I'm going out for a bit. Be careful. And back to the cemetery. Quickly, quickly walk over there. <laughs> uh, it take ten minutes to cross the screen. Come on, dude. Now I can slow him down. Because <laughs> I need that. No, no. Push button. Push Bhutan. Even though that's not where we're it's not where we're looking. Okay, now that I can actually do this. Did you Now This is stupid. <laughs> this is really stupid. But you have to, like, physically click on where you want to put the flashlight. Interesting. Like, it doesn't just follow the cursor. Oh. Which is, <laughs> which is what... You would think that it would just follow the cursor, but it doesn't. Mm. You actually have to click to tell the, the game where you want to put it. And then read. Crypt draws lined back wall. Gabriel can't make out the name on that draw's plaque. Hmm. 
That drawer is marked with a pattern like the veve. Ooh. Interesting. Perhaps we should open it. Mosley. Oh, crap. Oh, no. Shit. I dropped my flashlight. Huh? Ooh. Ouch! My head! What the hell was that? <laughs> wow, that is a violent sounding flashlight. I know, really. He's gone! Take his wallet! <laughs> <laughs> That's the plan, yoink! <laughs> Get the hell out of here before something else smacks us in the back of the head. Well, I mean, he won't be needing it anymore. Hey, hey, you're making it's too many a man's assumptions. Wallet. We weren't able to make a, you know, full ID. There's nothing rich. All that uh, and such. Gabriel opens the wallet and finds some ID belonging to Mosley and an American's repressed card. <laughs> <sighs> Mosley's American's repressed card. Credit. <laughs> what a concept. Is that like how Wednesday is a concept? Mosley's wallet has obviously been in his back pocket for a long time. It's shaped just <laughs> like him. <laughs> Looks like a butt. Alright, let's get the hell out of here. Let's leave it super obvious that you were just in there. Just leave that button cover open. Mm-hmm. Well, hey, I wasn't... I, I wasn't here first. <laughs> right, clearly. Now that I have... stolen Mosley's wallet, and again, it's not like he's gonna need it anymore, being in a crypt drawer. But, you know, nothing like, uh... Using somebody else's credit card to book a flight to Germany, eh? Hey, you know. Which is exactly what we're going to do. Because we need to get the hell out of here. Those, uh... <laughs> those American repressed have cards don't have a limit, so... I was worried about you. Yeah. For good reason, apparently. What happened? Do, do you need a doctor? Nothing you want to know about. And no, just some aspirin. Gabriel, this is nuts. You have to get out of New Orleans. No kidding. Well, listen. Wolfgang called while you were out. He said, and I quote, Tell Gabriel that I found what I was looking for. It's time for me to do my duty. Schloss Ritter is his now. Now, yeah, I got a crazy, castle. But I don't think <laughs> that's good news. Not for Uncle Wolfie, no. What are you going to do? If I figure it out, I'll let you know. I'm going to Germany. What else am I going to do? <laughs> I ain't got no, nothing else going on. All right, well, if you recall from our phone book, Somewhere. we have a travel agency, 585-1130. So, so let's go ahead and give them a call. You've already got me, you lucky devil. God damn it, I <laughs> the already, phone. You've already... Use the, the phone. phone. The phone. Not you. <laughs> Hello. See the World Travel Agency. How may I help you? I need to get the hell out of here. How much for a trip to Rittersburg, Germany? Rittersburg, Germany? Hold on, let me look that up. I can fly you into Munich. That's the closest airport to Rittersburg. You can rent a car from there or take the train. Let's see. The best price I can see for the flight is $1,400. Yeesh. What would you like to do? Luckily, I just got that stimulus check. I mean, uh, I mean, this <laughs> stolen credit to my card. Americans <laughs> repressed. Yes, sir. And your name was Mosley. Feeling a little guilty. 
Gabriel gives the travel agent Mosley's card number and is informed that he can pick up his ticket at the New Orleans International Airport. Yeah, they're not going to care that somebody other than the guy who called it in is picking up those tickets, no. It's 1993. This is... Passport? What's a passport? (laughs) Yeah, this is before any of that. Come on, man. I don't think this is before passports. (laughs) Yes, I'm going to Germany. Really? That's great, but how on earth could you afford? A man's got to do what a man... Don't ask. Oh, my God. (laughs) I wouldn't like the sound of that even if you were a man. Ouch. Ouch. (laughs) I miss you too, Grace. Yeesh. All right, let's get the hell out of here. I I, I got a castle now. I don't need you. (laughs) Goodbye, Gracie. Good luck. Let me know what's going on, will you? Of course. All right, let's fly. To say New Here Orleans International Airport is a very interesting air force. And boards are playing for Munich. Do 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 do. Why, why is it casting a shadow? <laughs> Wolfgang. Hello, my name is Knight. Gabriel Knight. Herr Knight! Oh, kommen Sie bitte, Herren. I mean, come in, please, Herr Knight. I was not expecting you. Has Wolfgang sent you here? Uncle Wolfgang? No, I came to see him. Isn't he here? No, he is gone. I'm sorry. You came all this way. Oh, great. Right, That's did. all I need. Herr Knight. Wolfgang told me all about you and gave me instructions for you to feel welcome here. Please, this is your home. You are a ritter, no? I am just doing some work. I will continue and you may make yourself comfortable. If there is anything you need, please ask me. You may use Wolfgang's bedroom. It is at the top of the stairs. Thank you, Miss, uh... You may call me Gerda, Herr Knight. Gerda? Not quite. I don't trust those potatoes. <laughs> Alright, well. Welcome. We have a castle now. <laughs> Screw we, the rest of this. Yeah, we can retire. <laughs> yep. Alright, well, this seems like a good place to stop here with uh, having a endless supply of potatoes peeled. <laughs> um... <laughs> But <laughs> join us next time when we uh, explore our sweet new digs. This makes even less sense than the sound that that drawer made. <laughs> yeah, no, no, like, <laughs> I know that that familiar sound every time I peel potatoes. Ah, it <laughs> reminds me of home. <laughs> uh. Uh, anyway, join us next time, won't you? Farewell.